Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Windows 10 USB drive. Not only for Windows 10, for 8 and 7, if you have the ISO file. So first of all, you're gonna click the links down in the description to download the applications. And they are not really applications, they are, they are just .xc files. Have them right here. And for Rufus, you're gonna go to a website, scroll down. I'm gonna click Rufus 3.5, not the portable version because I'm pretty sure you put uh, you put it in the USB drive and have it like there to install it on your friend's PC. I don't know how it works. And for Windows 10, you're gonna uh, create download tool now. We don't need this right now. So um, when you first of all, I'm gonna do it in two ways. I'm gonna do it with Rufus because you might have a Windows 8. Um, I saw image and you do not know how to burn it to a USB drive and we're gonna do it with the media creation tool so first of with the media creation tool is pretty easy just then follow my steps so open the media creation tool it's not going to show you that when it opens it's gonna show you this getting a few things ready then it's gonna show you this and you're gonna click accept then it's gonna show you this again and this take, uh, takes about one or two minutes and after this um, uh, do not click upgrade this PC now because it's going to upgrade the PC as, as you are right now and here you have to click uh, create installation media you know, click next um, click use the recommended options for this PC if you, have, if you want to install the same settings as the same settings as yours to your friend's computer if you do not have the same settings uh, just uncheck, the, uncheck this uh, choose your language an addition, I don't know what it has on the Windows 10, like a year ago it had Windows 10 Pro, I'm pretty sure, Home, Enterprise and other additions. And the architecture, 264-bit, um, if your friend's computer or your computer supports 64-bit. Um, I do not recommend both because I do not know how the PC will work. So I'm going to click next again. Um, here you're going to click USB flash drive, it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes as it, as it says. So if you use like for example 4 gigabytes, it's not going to install it. My flash drive is about 16 gigabytes. To be honest, it's 14. These two gigabytes, I don't know. It may be Windows 10 using, I don't know. And you're gonna click next. Um, choose your your USB. You're gonna click, click next again. It's gonna it's gonna start uh, downloading it. Mine took about 10 to 15 minutes to install to USB drive, so you have to be patient. I'm not going to do it because because I have I have it already in my USB drive. And for the ISO file, I have it right here. It's from here, so I go straight up to Rufus. I'm gonna let it close. Open Rufus. There we go. Um, right now, first of all, you're gonna choose your USB drive if you have multiple ones. And in the boot selection, I'm gonna click disk or ISO image, and you're gonna click select and choose your your ISO image. I'm gonna use Windows 10 for this video. And right here, you're gonna click in the image option standard Windows installation because Windows to go is for like booting Windows from a USB drive. It's like having a portable wind, uh, wind, uh, operating system. And partition scheme, you're gonna change to the MBR. And everything else, default. Uh, right here, um, nothing else. Oh, and also I forgot this check right up here next to the select option. Um, it's like checking the uh, the image, the ISO image, uh, if it's uh, correct, if it has a corrupted image. So I recommend using it for who knows if it if it fails in installs. Uh, the volume label, choose whatever you want or if you want to leave it uh, default, file system default and cluster size default. Uh, advanced system options. Oh, yeah, also um, remove everything what you have in your USB drive because if you have like an application, a photo, who knows when the Windows 10 installation or 8 or 7, um, the installation won't work. The USB drive has to be clear, only the Windows installation has to, to be in there. And you're gonna click start and you're going to get ready. Um, you want to format it? No, because I have a look. No, you have to click yes. Whatever. You're going to get deleted. And at the bottom right, right here, you're going to see a timer. Uh, mine took about 6 minutes and 44 seconds. So, depends on your on your flash drive or how fast it is. And your computer, I'm pretty sure. 
So I'm gonna close this because I'll cancel it because I did not really need it. Okay, and that's the video, guys. If you have any problems, just write in the comment section and I'll help you as much as possible. And to have to clear out something if you do not see the description. Um, my English is not on my, my mother tongue, so if you hear me like mess up or something, do not hate on me because that's how I speak. And I do not know many words, so I can add, add them up while I speak. And yeah, in order to make a good video, it, uh, it, may, it does take me about three to four times to record it. It doesn't matter how, how big is the video. For example, if it's 20 minutes, I have to redo it again if I mess it up. I know I can do, I can, I can, I can edit, but I'm bad at editing, so I'll, I'll try my best. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. See ya.